We can ask AI how to pay for a college education. <laughs> well, this whole week we've been talking about artificial intelligence in the Bay Area, and it's fueling a huge tech boom. And with all the opportunities, there is a need for people to fill those jobs. Yes, in some colleges around the Bay, they're now offering classes to teach students about how to work with AI. Joining us to talk about that very thing, the AI demand and the lucrative work it brings in is Angel Fuentes. He's Dean of Workforce Development at Evergreen Valley College. Welcome, Angel. Thank you so much to serving our younger generation. So let's start off with this. How you see this as an opportunity to teach the subject? Well, thank you for having me uh, today, this morning. Um, I think this is a great opportunity because community colleges have the opportunity not only to teach students at a lower cost, uh, we, we were just talking about it, uh, but also to be more innovative and to, to be a little more nimble and move faster to meet the demands of the industry. So do you see this as becoming as common as, say, Merriam-Webster, where you're citing it in your paper according to AI and then putting it in quotes? Yeah, I mean, uh, th this side of AI where it's helping students, you know, research information, for example, uh, I think it could become uh, something like that where we're quoting it uh, more properly at that point uh, where the students got information. But of course, we still need to make sure that the students are syn synthesizing their own documents, their own paragraphs, right? Not just uh, copy pasting what they find on the internet. But that's just one side of AI. There's multiple other sides like computer vision and deep learning, things that can really impact our lives and even help us with social justice. And I think those are all good things. And I know we have a lot to learn about how this can really be incorporated into our day-to-day -day lives in a healthy way. But as far as maybe getting out there in the workforce and maybe finding jobs that coincide with AI, what do you think about people using AI as maybe sprucing up their resume or maybe their cover letter trying to get those jobs? Uh, I mean, there's other systems out there like Grammarly that also use AI to help people, for example, proofread. Uh, and so AI is also helping students not only uh, maybe write a more professional email, but perhaps um, find those typos that they've gone over the paper and they cannot find themselves. It could provide some help in that area as well. Well, and really the conversation is about double checking the double checking, right? And AI is not always right when it comes up with answers for even spell check. That is correct. And some of those AI systems are actually not actively searching the, the web for the latest information. So they may give you outdated information based on the data that was uploaded to them at the time that the data was uploaded to them. Angel, what concerns you the most when it comes to AI and education? I think there's a big concern around uh, uh, plagiarism, for example, and academic honesty. Uh, but I think that there's ways to, that we can adapt to it. There's other, these concerns have existed before with other perhaps websites. Uh, or even with the internet, when it became uh, more widespread, uh, it was a big concern. So I think there's ways to overcome this. We just have to get together and find a solution that supports the students, but also make sure that instruction is happening in a positive and rigorous manner. And we are so glad you are working towards that. We thank you so much for your time, Angel. And hopefully we'll chat with you soon. This was very helpful information. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah, and all of you kiddos watching out there, we're watching what you're doing now. <laughs> We've had such a smart morning of conversation with educators, and I'm educated as a parent about how to implement this in our home. I wonder if someday people will look back on this interview and be like, look at them talking about AI. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how we talked about the internet yes. and the computer, Jessica.